Favorite guitar solo of all time? Probably a lot of the Marty Friedman solos on like Rust in Peace and uh, Countdown to Extinction near uh, Megadeth. Um, that's, those are some of my favorite solos of all time. If I had to pick one, maybe Lucretia. That's a cool one. Uh, but no, just that shit in general. Love it. Love it. When writing a new riff, where do you start? Chord progression, random idea. Anywhere. Literally, it could be anywhere. I think like creative ideas are these strings that you kind of catch in the air, and when you start tugging at it, you can just keep pulling like a thread until you unravel the whole damn thing. But I think you can usually find an idea inspired from the weirdest places and make something out of it. So go for it. Who's the biggest prankster in the band, and who's pulled the best prank so far? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm voting on Cobra for this one. I had to wake up in a bunk not even uh, two weeks ago where there is a living dead dude just waiting for me. So uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, to the band, are you nervous before going on stage? Not really, not usually. Usually going on stage feels good. Do you have a personal ritual before going on stage? I think everybody in the band kind of takes at least an hour before we play to sort of get ready, you know get in the zone. Uh, I like to just play, pick up my guitar, start moving my fingers, get blood flowing to those parts of uh, my body. Nothing too crazy, but you know, just get in the zone. That's what matters. When recording at home, what doll and what kind of mics do you prefer? Um, I use Pro Tools all the time, pretty much, exclusively for the last while. I just got the newest one. It's awesome. I love it. Mics, uh, 57 and a 421, if you're recording rock or metal guitars put those two together it sounds awesome favorite food from a tourist city uh so many to pick from let's just go with pequod's pizza in chicago highly recommended the gem series ibanez been my weapon of choice for years what is it about these guitars i like so much playability tone um okay uh i just i just played one one day and really liked it i have played all kinds of other guitars too and liked all kinds of other guitars um and i always thought the gem was like wacky looking growing up because of the handle and uh all that stuff and then one day they just had one at the store i was working at uh back in the day and uh i played it and i just fell in love i thought it was awesome i had to have one so then i had one and now i have two and uh, i've been playing ibanez's for a long time um now and it started with uh, a gem so very cool. And uh, upgrades, yeah, right now I'm using some modified pickups. Stuff made by a guy named Ethan Spaulding in uh, Salt Lake City. Instrumental pickups. They're great. They're really great. Okay, you're great musicians with great sound. Why not go old school rather than modern metal? The answer is simple to me. I, I think metal has to evolve along with humanity and culture and everything. I don't want to make the same. I don't want to try and be part of making something that's already been done. I mean, to a certain extent, we you know, we borrow... We stand on the you know the shoulders of people who come before us when uh, when you start doing things that are in similar genres and stuff. But I think music should always evolve, and you always have to try and push boundaries and make something new that hasn't been done before, if uh, if at all possible. So, um, love old school metal. It's it's the shit, and um, so much of it out there to go for. But I also want to try and do something that's uh, kind of new as well. What is your favorite city to play in North America and in Europe? Favorite city to play in North America and Europe? Um, so many to choose from. Some are cool to be there because playing there is cool and some are cool to be there just because it's a cool, nice place to be, you know. I really love Vancouver and Canada. It's a really great place. The whole West Coast, even the East Coast, I don't know. I can't give one city. It's, that one's too tough. So many good ones in Europe as well. It's like you can't can't really put one ahead of another. I can't anyways. For the whole band, what was the first album you ever purchased? With my own money, probably an Offspring record back sometime in the, the mid-90s or something. Um, where can I find some guitar tabs? I'd like to say in the pipeline. They're on their way. You should just play it, try your best to play along, use your ears.